Hey guys, Marshall McKee, I'm going to be doing my Marveled Monkey episode 1. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. So we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Sony and Marvel working together. Uh, and then we're going to be talking about Miles Morales, all that stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so first up is Sony and Marvel working together. I know you guys already know all of this already, but I'm just going to go quick through it fast. So, Sony, not doing well Amazing Spider-Man. Come to Kevin Feige, merge with Marvel a little bit, not that much. But they're coming together, working on a project, promoting each other. Sony's going to be doing, uh, you know, Spider-Man and Captain Mar er, and Captain America and uh, Civil War. Uh, Marvel's going to be doing, helping out with the whole Sony Spider-Man solo movie, pushing movies back, doing all that, working together, promoting, boom. So that's how it's going on right now. Guys, you know, I know you already knew that, but, you know, I just wanted to run over it. So anyway, I am excited for this. I definitely think this is going to be a great uh, decision. So Spider-Man in the MCU is going to be amazing. I know it will. Um, I'm excited. Overall, Sony does have, crew, you know, overall say what's going on. But since they are with Kim Feige, he's going to be in the zone. They're working with him. Obviously, they're going to turn to him since he's the genius in this. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And let's talk about what's coming next for casting. So hallelujah, they are considering the fans. So what they're doing is that they're considering the fans for this Logan Lerman, we all know we want him as Spider-Man, or at least most of us do. I do, um, there's also Dylan O'Brien in the running. They're actually eyeing both of them to play Peter Parker Spider-Man. And I'm not against the whole Miles Morales movie thing. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to tell you why and why not and all that stuff. But anyway, Logan Lerman, yes, I do think he should be Peter Parker Spider-Man. I think he looks kind of like the character. I think that he'll be good as it. He's been in Percy Jackson, which proves he can be in a franchise. And then he's also been in Fury, which proves he can be in an action sequence. So... Why not have him as Peter Parker, as Spider-Man, you know what I mean? Um, Dylan O'Brien, not that he's a bad actor or anything, but I just want um, Logan Lerman to turn on, to turn, uh, you know, on the spider web shooters and become Peter Parker, if that makes sense. So, if that makes sense, you know, that's what I want. So, we want Logan Lerman, and they're considering it, so thank you, Kevin Feige, all the people. I'm amazed that you're putting in, you know, all of that stuff, and that you're eyeing those people, so, yep. And now on to Miles Morales. So, I don't, I don't really want there to be a whole Miles Morales movie. And I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not totally ruling it out. But here's why: I think they should do the thing. Have you ever seen a movie where there's a high school geek who's friends with a middle school geek, and they just have this bond, but except one of them's younger? That's what I think they should do. I think they should have. Since Peter's going to be in high school, hopefully Logan Lerman, uh, we want Miles Morales to make a cameo, but as like the little middle school geek that he hangs out with. So that would make more sense. That's what I want. I can. I really want that. Hopefully, I don't think they'll do that. But if they did have Miles Morales, you know, Amy Pascal's in charge. You know, in charge of the Sony part. The one guy that wasn't that doing all the movie stuff, who said he what Peter Parker was was always going to be the Spider Man. Miles Morales wasn't. He's out. Amy's in. So that'll make more sense. All possibilities are on the table. We want Miles Morales, or at least I do, as a cameo. So why not? So. That's what I'm hoping. I also want Mary Jane to be back as well. Um, after they cut Shailene Woodley out, I was just like, oh, eh. I mean, I would have liked Mary Jane to be in the movie, but, you know, so maybe she can be in this one. Hopefully she is. That'd be really cool. You know, I really liked Mary Jane from the first trilogy, so they can bring that back, and that'd be great. So updates. Uh, postpone Shazam video till next week. Um, tomorrow's Saturday vlog on my vlog channel. I'm really excited. It's my first vlog, like, official vlog. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if I'm doing the Gotham special. I might just not do that, but, and, I might do an Agent Carter special, though. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. And then Sunday is a Monkey Talks. Thanks guys for watching. It's like if you this video. Click here if you'd like to see Agent Carter, my last one for my episode 6 review. And, like I said, subscribe. Or maybe I didn't say that, but subscribe. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links down below. Playlist and last, and, uh, playlist for Agent Carter and last review down below. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.